So in this video we're going to talk about how you can get started building your own guitar effects pedals. So we're going to talk about what kind of tools you're going to need, uh, some places you can get parts and different kits, and then we're going to wrap it up with talking about places online that you can learn more about guitar effects and maybe get to design your own. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos that we put out. It really doesn't take that many tools and resources to build some awesome effects pedals. So maybe you want to build a clone of some vintage super fuzz or something like that, or you just want to kind of get into it as a hobby. Uh, I think this video is going to help you. So the first thing we'll check out uh, is what tools you're going to want or some stuff that I think is really helpful. And I'm going to leave links in the description to all these tools. So it's pretty much going to make a little shopping list for you if you're trying to get started. So one of the main things you're going to need is some wire strippers. So these are some really simple ones that I like to use. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. You're also going to want some wire snippers or parts cutters. Uh, this is from the company Hacko, and I will leave a link to these in the description also. Uh, I'm trying to pick tools that are really simple, affordable, that we use here in the shop like every week. Uh, again, same company, Hacko has some nice needle nose pliers, and I believe these are like less than 10 bucks. So really good quality. And one other thing that's going to be really helpful for you is a little small set of screwdrivers. Uh, these are good for trim pots or putting the screws on pedals or the volume knobs, for example. So something else that's really helpful to have is a voltmeter. You can use these to measure uh, the resistance of a resistor. You can use them to measure voltage. You can use them to measure current. Very helpful and just a great tool to have around. So as far as soldering irons go, there's a lot of great soldering stations or soldering irons on the market right now. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to what I use here at the shop, which is the Hakko Digital uh, Soldering Station. Really good unit. And I'm also going to leave a link to something more inexpensive because if you're just getting into building your first guitar pedal, I don't think that you should probably spend over $100 on the soldering station. If you're in the U.S. or a country that sells leaded solder and you don't plan on selling pedals internationally, I would recommend using uh, the old school lead solder. Uh, it melts at a lower temperature and it's easier to use. Just make sure you have a good exhaust fan running and you're not breathing the fumes. Otherwise, for the rest of everyone in the world or people that are manufacturing pedals for worldwide sale, uh, lead free solder is what you should use. So links in the description to both those things too. Another really helpful tool is these step drill bits. Uh, they have a bunch of different size uh, holes that can drill on it. You kind of just get in the hang of like two steps down is your potentiometers, for example, or three steps down is your jack. So again, these are really helpful tools that help uh, make fast work out of drilling. So now we talked about some tools that you're going to need to get started. Uh, the next thing I would be thinking about is where to get parts or your first pedal kit. So I highly recommend if it's your first pedal build or your first electronics project that you just buy a kit because what you get in that is someone else compiles all the parts for you. Uh, one of the most confusing things about getting into electronics and guitar pedal building is like there is like thousands of different types of the exact part you're looking for. Different voltage ratings, different purposes, things like that. So it's extremely daunting at first to pick out your own part. So if you get a kit someone takes care of that for you and I would recommend like general guitar gadgets or build your own clone. Uh, those are really helpful websites. Once you get the hang of putting the kits together, I think you can move on to ordering PCBs from like websites that sell clone PCBs or you can start doing like tag board builds or barrel board builds like places like tagboardeffects.com. So if you know a place that sells kits or gives good like resources on like kits and building barrel board and stuff, why don't you drop a comment below and let everybody know what that is. So last part of the video, once you get the hang of building the kits and let's say you start ordering your own parts and things like that and you want to learn more about electronics and guitar pedals and how circuits work in general, uh, I would recommend some websites like Electro Smash. They kind of do in-depth breakdowns of famous pedals like the Tube Screamer or the Proco Rat. Uh, there's also AMZ website. Uh, there's 
everything from RG Keen. So I'm going to leave more links in the descriptions to those places. And also, everybody, if you're watching and you know a good resource that I'm not talking about, drop it in the comments so everybody can check it out. So I really appreciate you watching. I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects. I've been building guitar pedals and... Uh, I think we've done over 2,000 pedals under the Fuzzlord name, so I hope you have as much fun building guitar pedals as I do. It's a really rewarding thing, and it makes me feel connected to the music I play and the people that use the pedals too, right? So I hope this video was helpful. Drop a comment. Let me know if you want to see more helpful videos like this or like ideas you'd like to see talked about in future videos. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. And last thing before we wrap it up, I want to give a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters that help make this YouTube channel possible. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and we're running everybody's names on the screen right now, and I just want to say thank you. Also wanted to give a big thank you to our producer-level supporters, Jeremy, Rustin, David, and Steve. I really appreciate you folks. Uh, I'll talk to everybody in the comments, and thanks for watching the Fuzzlord Effects YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.